Understanding Typhoon Casualties, an English Learning Journey. Hello, everyone, welcome to our English Learning Channel. Today, we're diving into the meaning and usage of the phrases, typhoon, and casualties. These terms are often used together in news reports and articles, especially when discussing natural disasters. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand what they mean but also how to use them correctly in sentences. Let's get started. A typhoon is a type of tropical cyclone or severe storm that occurs in the Western Pacific Ocean. It's the same phenomenon as hurricanes or cyclones, but it's called a typhoon because of its geographical location. Typhoons are characterized by strong winds, heavy rains, and can lead to flooding, landslides, and significant destruction. Understanding this term is crucial because it sets the context for the impact such a natural disaster can have on people and places. The term, casualties, refers to both the people who are injured and those who have died in a particular event, such as a natural disaster, a war, or an accident. It's important to note that casualties include both fatalities and injuries, not just deaths. This distinction is vital for accurately comprehending news reports and discussions about the effects of disasters like typhoons. When we talk about typhoon casualties, we are referring to the people who have either been injured or lost their lives as a result of a typhoon. This phrase encapsulates the human impact of such natural disasters, highlighting the importance of emergency preparedness, response, and recovery efforts. Understanding the full scope of typhoon casualties helps us grasp the severity of these events and the need for compassionate action and support for affected communities. To help you better understand how to use these terms, here are a few example sentences. The latest report indicates that the typhoon casualties have risen to over 200, with many more injured. Emergency teams are working tirelessly to help the casualties of the typhoon, providing medical care and support. As a community, it's crucial to understand the risks of typhoons and work together to minimize casualties in future events. Thank you for joining us in today's lesson on typhoon casualties. We hope this video has shed light on the meaning of these terms and their significance in the context of natural disasters. Remember, learning English is not just about words and grammar, it's also about understanding the world around us. Stay safe, and see you in the next video.